Hey guys, Jeremy here from School of Walk Covent Garden. It's Walk Wednesday once again, and ahead of our Walk for 1000 event this week, it's a leftover veggie stir fry. Uh, so, your Chinese pantry, like dry noodles or your sauces and chili oils, are fantastic for sort of using up ingredients and getting rid of sort of excess fresh ingredients from your fridge. Your egg noodles, if you're looking for good sort of dried egg noodles, I always say that a, a well nested noodle still needs to have gaps between the noodle strands. That's when you know you've got a good dried noodle. I'm going to take a couple of nests of your egg noodles and I'm going to soak those in hot water just from the kettle. Never boil your noodles. Just let them soak for a few minutes until they lose their packet shape and just start to separate out. So, your sauce. You can really make up whatever you want. It's about balancing flavours or understanding how to do that. I find that I quite like a bit of spice in my noodles, so I'm going to go for about a teaspoon and a half of my homemade chilli oil, which you can find a video for uh, how do I find a video? video? I'll put a link in. Yeah. <laughs> Lee will put a link in. I've got a bit of veg vegetarian stir fry sauce in here because I've got some mushrooms that I'm going to use. So this will work really nicely and complement the sort of savoury flavour of those mushrooms. Light soy sauce. Don't go overboard on your light soy. It's quite salty. So just sort of a tablespoon. Light soy, and then dark soy to wrap that colour around your noodles. Again, similar amount of dark soy, possibly a little more. Give that a little stir through. And your dark soy sauce, not just very dark, but more caramelised than your light. To help that caramelise that bit further, a pinch of sugar just helps with that. So. Sugar in there, and if you wish to add that classic Chinese noodle flavour, a little sesame oil for that toasted edition, toasted nutty edition. I think that should be enough sauce for my two nests of noodles. Right, back to my noodles. They're starting to separate out slightly here. You can see. Just opening out. What you don't want to do is over soak your noodles. You can always add more liquid later on, but you can't take it away. The problem with over soaking your noodles is that once you touch them, they start to fall apart or break apart or stick together. Which is why you just got to look after them for these few minutes. So you can see now, my noodles have separated out and when I pick them up, every strand is one in itself but it's still got a good bounce to it and it's not too mushy. That's a good point to just sieve that through and then dry them again. So I've got nice long strands of noodles. Get rid of that excess water. You can run these other than cold water just so they stop cooking. Right, so this is the bit that most packets kind of miss out with noodles, is drying them, especially if you're gonna stir fry them and wanna keep them nice and separate, then your drier your noodles when it hits the wok, the better they'll come out. So I've got a clean tea towel here I'm just going to spread them out so that they dry as quickly as possible. You can speed this process up if you just put your oven on a fan, sort of really low heat, no more than 30 degrees C, they'll, they'll sort of dry in about 3 to 5 minutes. But if you've got 10-15 minutes and you don't mind waiting, then just leave it out on that tea towel, turn it once, and it'll get nice and dry. So I've got a whole load of leftover veg, stuff that we will probably won't use in our classes, but at the same time are absolutely perfect to use. Great for a dish like this. Your noodles drive the rest of the ingredients. So 
These slightly bedraggled spring onions, nothing wrong with them, just take off the outer leaves. And again, you can use whatever veg you want, but spring onions are great for the end of your stir-fried noodle dishes. We're big believers in using up everything from your fridge. We have this event called Wok for a Thousand, which you do once a year. We take a load of surplus veg and cook up, or teach people how to cook up over a thousand meals for different charities. So you spring onion, I mean sometimes you can use spring onion at the beginning of the stir fry to add flavour to your dish. If you're going to do that, just large chunks are fine. Can always act as another bit of vegetable. So large chunks for the start and then to garnish at the end we just need finely sliced bits of spring onion. Right at the end. Starting to build up my wok clock from the beginning here. Got a little bit of ginger that was left over from one of the other dishes that we filmed, so don't waste it. Just gonna take thin slices. But I don't want big chunks of ginger, so we're going to go matchstick on these. And they can go together with your spring onion. Garlic, if you wish. Again, slices will do. And then I've got some, a little bit of tender stem broccoli left over some red pepper and some shiitake mushrooms that we've been using for dumplings and things like that. They're pre-soaked or you can put them in stock. Don't waste it for the stock, use it for things like this. So, nice chunks of your broccoli. It's the harder veg, so that should go first really, along with your pepper. You can see from a very small amount of veg here that we're already starting to load up my relatively large plate. Chinese food is incredibly resourceful. I don't need the whole pepper, I'm going to take about half of this I think. Nice and thinly sliced. Shiitake mushrooms from my stock. Again, finely sliced. Now what I've actually got here as well, it's a whole load of different mushroom. So I'm just gonna pick. I've got some yellow oyster mushrooms here. Some different fresh shiitake and a little bit of shimeji or shimeji where well, gnocchi mushrooms work really well anything like that don't over cut these fresh mushrooms are nice to pick and what we're going to do with these mushrooms here is I'm going to sort of flash fry them first before we start the rest of our stir fry. So perhaps they should go in a bowl at the beginning to flash fry and then we'll whack them in at the end of the stir fry again once they've been sort of pre-fried. Cooking your mushrooms this way is not necessarily the healthiest of ways to do it but if you want to know how sort of restaurants get you can finish on beautiful mushrooms like this. Essentially, you need a fair bit of oil. You want to heat that oil to good heat so you get a sear on the mushrooms immediately. Now I'm going to test my oil. I can see it's smoking hot, but yeah, so that's sort of essentially deep frying the mushrooms. So straight in, hold those mushrooms through gently.
Right, so you know when your mushrooms are cooked well, because they start to lose that sort of sizzle, meaning that they've gotten rid of all that excess moisture in the mushrooms. At that point, you want to sift those through. No extra oil needed, let's get straight onto the cooking. Got high heat, I'm gonna start with my spring onion, ginger and garlic. Hold that three. Push that to the back. A little drizzle of oil. And then your next veg, for me, my broccoli, is in. Bring your spring onion over the top and keep folding that round. It's always good to have a little bit of water nearby if you want to cook your veg through quicker. And it doesn't need much at all, but on a high heat, a splash of water Steam your veg through very quickly. Back to the fat, and then your peppers. I'm not going to add any oil to this. There's plenty in there. Enjoy your veg. Your mushrooms coming back in, along with your shiitake. high heat all the way now to the end. A little drizzle of oil ready for your noodles. You can see how separate my noodles are. They're going straight into the wok. And then your veg go over the top of your noodles so they don't burn. And then top of the head. Round over the top and top of the head. And keep going until your noodles and veg and nicely intertwined. My sauce, I might not use all of it, we'll see how much I need. High heat, a little drizzle of sauce, and then ready for your tummy in the head. It's got a great colour there already, so I'm not going to use all of that sauce. I've used about half of it so far. Maybe a little drizzle more. Once your noodles just start sticking to the bottom of your wok, you know you're pretty much there. And at that point, you want to switch your wok off. Your noodles. And all of that amazing veg that could have quite simply been thrown away but it's made a fantastic meal. So you can see with your wok that even though you've got that slight stickiness it should be clean at the end and that's when you know you've got good wok hay. A bit of garnish over the top. Moment of truth for what is essentially a chili chow mein. Mm. Reminds me of a little place in Hong Kong that only does stir fried noodles and stuffed tofu. Delicious. What I love about Asian cooking is its versatility and using up surplus veg or things that are just left in the fridge there's so many dishes that can do that. If you like this recipe and you want to know more about cooking Asian style, subscribe to our channel.